Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Black Ops 4, the beta, and today I've got such an insane video for you guys to show you guys this special weapon, which most people don't know is actually insane in the beta, and it seems like it'll be insane in the game, and probably even in Blackout, this will probably be, if this gun is in Blackout, it will be the gun that everybody uses, the best gun in the game at this moment and well the best rifle i would say by the gameplay you could probably tell what gun it is if you are fond and you've played black ops beta then you'll know it is the abr223 which in black ops 1 this is basically the aug so it is a classical weapon to be honest that's been brought to black ops 4 which is insane because it literally sounds like and feels like the actual gun that was absolutely beastly and godly in black ops 1 and the classic fans such as myself will know that this gun is just so overpowered overpowered in a way but if you know how to use it well then you'll absolutely dominate as you guys can see in this gameplay i'm pretty sure well that will be playing right now i absolutely go insane and i'll actually leave the gameplay uh, for when i don't talk for you guys can actually see and just understand the power because there is a higher health uh, that in black ops 4 so it does take about a bit more time to kill about a double health and then if you have the, which we'll get into the class setup right now, and then show you guys how you can absolutely beast with this class. There's very few people say that it's good, and people I've talked to and actually played with have absolutely dominated with this gun. The reason I say it's a secret gun, absolutely amazing, is that I don't see anybody like talking about this gun and saying how amazing it is, and nobody even mentioning that it's an AUG from Black Ops 1. So... Today, I'm going to be running you down into my class setup right over here, as you guys will see. First of all, we're going to go into the attachments. I've got this optic sight, and to be honest, without even running any optic sight, the actual original sight is okay. It's like the original one in Black Ops 1. If you guys don't know, it's just a circular kind of red dot, but kind of mix of holographic sight. So, but you want to run this red dot sight, which is the actual class that I'm using in this gameplay right now. So, this is the full actual setup right here. So, tritium sight you want to use, which is basically a red dot sight in this game. Then, you you want to use the grip which obviously reduces recoil while aiming down the sight which is very very helpful and making sure your bullets don't fly all over the place and making sure that it's centered down also just to note this you want to actually tone down your sensitivity you know if you are running a high sensitivity as i do usually in cod games you want to tone it down a bit to make sure you get accurate shots because you'll be you will be actually aiming down the sights for most of the use of the gun really to be honest so that's why i've actually got stock alongside of here which i'll talk in a second but quick draw increase ads speed obviously you want to make sure you quickly aim as soon as you're running making sure that you actually get the bullets out there as soon as possible and then stock you want to actually definitely have on really so you're making sure that you always aimed on the site while also moving so you can peek around corners on objectives extremely useful having stock on this class that's going to be a rundown on attachments and as you can see here i do not run any secondary i found myself just not using any secondaries in this game for most of the time unless i'm running a sniper as i might have referenced before in any previous video i don't really run any pistol so then we're going to get into the gear i run this uh, body armor which actually helps me with you know gaining a bit more extra health just a tiny bit more a lot of people are running this as well hence why because it actually is quite good and it really does help you from not dying and you know for that's why enemies use it a lot then for equipment i haven't used anything so but if you ha haven't got any attachments at the moment unlocked i guess you could run trophy system if you are helping to you know get into domination and stuff to stick that down then we're going to get into the perks now i've recently also changed uh, from cold blooded or tack mask onto flak jacket i found it actually more helpful having flak jacket take less damage from enemy explosives as you guys will know so that really helps i'm just going to run through these uh perks right here quickly if you want to pause then you can to have a look at the perks then i've got scavenger as you'll see in this gameplay i actually do run out of ammo after going on an insane kill streak i actually ran out of ammo and i was kind of annoyed i was like trying to get 50 kills and if i literally could have got 60 kills in this gameplay uh if i managed to actually get a scavenger but i couldn't find any dead bodies around to actually well scavenge off of as, as this perk is called and you guys all know this is a classic perk so we're going to go through through the perks here just so you guys can see all the perks here pause and then see and you know whether you say oh i'd rather run this perk rather than scavenger feel free to it's up to your class i'm just helping you guys here so replenish ammo from fallen players i've found it really helpful and it actually does help with you making sure that you actually keep on having bullets to uh, actually shoot out <laughs> ghost is literally what i run on every single class here on call of duty black ops 4 on the beta but i'm going to go through these perks just slowly quickly here just so you can see what else is available and um that sounds might actually come helpful but ghost helps me from not being seen by uavs while you're moving so you can't be camping 
but you got to be keep on moving and then uh, that really helps with me not being seen on the map and then I get to run around flank around them and it does definitely help then of course I have the wild card which is additional primary weapon attachment which helps me to have these absolutely godly four attachments on here and it definitely does help so that's going to be it for this class setup as you guys can see here look at this class copy it if you want and tell me how you guys do in the game because this will definitely guarantee if you play it how i do will do you absolutely amazing from close quarters to long quarters anything you do mostly kind of medium quarters it will absolutely destroy and obliterate everybody as it has in this gameplay a quick bonus onto this class setup once you have the max level for this abi you do unlock the burst accelerator which makes this gun going from a free burst to a fully automatic just makes the gun absolutely insane as you guys will be able to read the description of the gun right there however the only downside to this is that you have to use primary operator mod wildcard in fact which actually takes up three out of ten of the slots that you can choose so this kind of is the downside to it but as you can see by the gameplay it's fully automatic instead of being the free burst which is absolutely insane so i'm gonna let the gameplay play i hope you guys do enjoy make sure you subscribe for more bo 4 content thank you for watching cheers